Hello, my name is Jonathan Harris from Worldwide Camera Exchange. I, I have a question for you. What do these cameras have in common? I have a Nikon 35Ti, sells for £800, beautiful camera, 25 years old. I have a Canon EOS 1D Mark II, 15 years old, fantastic prospect camera. Hasselblad X-Pan, 20 years old, £2,000, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. All those cameras are broken. And none of them can be fixed. £2,000 worth of camera, worth nothing. Seven, eight hundred pounds worth of camera, worth nothing. Decent, pro-spec, digital Canon camera, worth absolutely nothing. Problem with these cameras is that manufacturers only make spares after the, the camera is discontinued for a short time. And once all those spares are gone, you're stuck. The camera won't be fixable. Inevitably, with any particular camera, take for example the Canon, whilst they are inherently reliable, there will be one, one component on this camera that always fails first, and that, cam that component will inevitably be electronic. If, for example, it's the shutter control unit that fails, any cam most camera Canon cameras that fail of this type, it'll be the shutter control unit that, 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 that packs up. So, surprise, surprise, whilst Canon may hold quite a few spares, it'll always be the shutter control unit that runs out first. So as soon as they've gone, the vast majority of these cameras, if faulty, are a write-off, which, which, which I think is an absolute disgrace. Given the, given the resource and energy that goes into building a camera of this quality, I think they, they, sh they should be serviceable for 10, 20 years past the point that the manufacturers discontinue them. Okay, if, if, it, if it's a cheap 200 pound camera or if, it, if it's a cheap compact camera, I, I, I don't think that's a, 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 re a reasonable demand. But with cameras like this, thousands and thousands of pounds worth of camera, you expect it to be fixable after 20 years. But the situation is that you just can't. Um, now, I'm not trying to scare anybody here. What I'm doing is just pointing something else out that everybody needs to know. If you are buying older digital equipment or you're buying later film equipment that is, that is reliant upon electronics and heavily reliant upon electronics, you should be aware that whilst most of the, the pro-spec equipment is very reliable, um, there is an outside chance that one day you will come unstuck. Um, if you're spending a lot of money on a camera, that might not be a risk you're willing to take, which I would, compl would completely understand. So what, 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 what can you do? If, if you want high quality film equipment, uh, high quality uh, earlier digital equipment, what, what can you do? Well, frankly, early digital equipment, if it, if, it, if it packs up, there really is nothing you can do. But if it's film stuff you're looking for, um, here are some examples. Here, here, here are some good cameras to buy. Leica R6. Not particularly expensive, three or four hundred pounds. It does have an electronic meter, although they tend to be very reliable. Everything else is mechanical. So even if the electronic part decides to die on you, you can, you can, still, use, you can still use the camera. The shutter is mechanical. They, mechanical cameras can be fixed 99% of the time. A good repairer will be able to sort that out. Um, Leica, I mean, this, this, is, this is a pre-war Leica. I wouldn't recommend this to use at all. But Lycra M2s, Lycra M3s, Lycra M4s, M5s, M6s, good, reliable, mechanical cameras. Again with the M6, the M5, they do have meters. If the electronics go, it can be difficult to get them get them fixed, but even if the electronics fail, you do still have a usable, mechan usable mechanical camera. Um, Nikon, this is um, this is uh, Nikon F, look at Nikon F, look at Nikon F2, both good mechanical cameras. F3, great camera, um, but if the electronics go, they're a write-off. Nikon F4, great camera, but if the electronics uh, go, they're a write-off. Same applies with the F5 and the F6. Now, these are reliable cameras. They're not unreliable. But as I said earlier, just, just be aware there is an outside chance that when the electronics fail, you're stuffed. Now, this, this, this is a brilliant camera. Pentax SP, SP2 in fact, this model. Lovely, lovely camera, um, fully mechanical, very, very reliable. Again, 
batteries and electronics required for the meter, but frankly, if the meter's not working, and often they're not with this camera, it, it's still a good, reliable camera. I don't want to scare you. I don't want to put people off buying these cameras. My only point of making this video was was just to just to make people aware of the risks you are buying, you are you are entering into when you're buying these sorts of cameras. Um, if you get caught out, you're quite unlucky. But just be aware if you do decide to buy them, there is there is that possibility. And if you're not sure, ask the person you're buying it from. Ask the dealing about you're buying it from. Phone Hasselblad and ask them if they can fix their cameras. Call Nikon and ask them if they can fix their cameras. You know, it's, it's the manufacturers really that are, that are letting us down here. It's the manufacturers that should be supplying the spares when they're not. So I hope that's useful. If you have any comments, please stick them in the box below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.